Uh, we're just gonna kick someone else's ass. How about that? It's a team match, Mark. Oh my God, that is Christian Harloff. I am Mark Ellis, and I don't know what I love more, shirts with food on them or this matchup. At which I point- I do have food on my shirt. Someone's journalistic integrity is at stake Mine, here. with the food on shirt. Your journalistic Where integrity oh, has never been in question. We had pizza for lunch, and Christian, yeah. when you look at this matchup, in the 1700s, they called them muckrakers. Today, they call them journalists, IGN versus Rotten Tomatoes. What a powerhouse. Four powerhouse competitors here today. And you've got Rotten Tomatoes, who has been a very impressive team all the way back from the 2015 tournament. They went pretty far. They lost to us in of the- Of course they did. Well, in the semifinals, and they came back. They had a really great battle against top 10 and almost got themselves to a title shot. They just missed. They just beat What the Flick, and they have a nice record of three and two. But then here comes IGN. Uh, both, with Jim and Eric, they've come out so strong, and they didn't just beat Nerdist. They knocked the piss out of them. They knocked them out in the second round, and they just, everyone, they pretty much said, look out, here we come. They threw Nerdist in the locker. They hung him by the flagpole. They gave him a swirly. Everything you can do to Nerdist, they did, and they were so impressive. I can now pronounce Jim's last name. It is Vavada, as in Vavada. How can you not pronounce that correctly the yeah, first time? Yeah, well, he wasn't very happy with no, you, the fact that you didn't thrilled. get it right last time. You know what I also like about IGN is the fact that they can talk some smack, and we know Rotten Tomatoes likes to put on a show, so here we go. Yeah, we're back. We're back and we're gonna kick their ass, your ass, his ass, my ass. <laughs> well, the tomatoes in black are back and uh, you know, we're problem solvers and our problem is IGN. Yeah, IGN, you know. We're, we're gonna solve them. We we're gonna are. solve them all day, all night. We're gonna solve them until they ain't able to be solved no more. I think we proved ourselves last time. Anyone yeah. who had any doubts about us saw what we did to Nerdist. Rotten Tomatoes is just gonna be the next in a long line of teams just falling to the wayside as IGN plows through. And Mark Ellis, I'm talking to you, pal. I can get your name right. Why can't you get mine, bitch? It's Bavada. Bavada. Like Darth Bavada. Think of it like that. You know, they are in violation of some uh, Arkelian treaties, and we are ready to have something happen that they will not forget. <laughs> I think that they won't remember it. They may not. All right, we're going to workshop it. I don't know. I can't remember. I think you just neuralized us. Tomatoes are there to get squashed. Yeah. So we're gonna do it. I think that uh, you know we'd love to take them out early. Uh, yeah, n just to just to not prolong the agony. You know, why make it harder on them, harder on us? You know, we like them, but we're just gonna end it merciful. You know, that's what I say. It's just a quick mercy kill. I worked with Eric and Jim in the same office back in the day. He knows their weaknesses. I know their secrets. I know where I know where we can hit them where it hurts. Uh, and I know he where the knows where the are bodies are buried. <laughs> He's always talking about the IGN bodies. Exactly. Yeah, it's a little exactly. weird. Rotten Tomatoes, you've had a good long run. That run is now over. IGN is here. We're coming for you. All I can say is, Rotten Tomatoes, you are going to get messed up, and I guarantee it's going to be certified fresh. You know, we've been awfully close to title shots, and uh, right now they stand in our way, and unfortunately, IGN, I, you know, love you guys, go way back, but, you know, I, there's no mercy here. So, um, you know, when you're looking under our boot heels, uh, sorry. Yep. They are ready to go. They are ready to move up the ranks. The question is, who's going to do it? A lot of shouting, a lot of jabbing between Rotten Tomatoes and Team Igan. Here is the tale of the tape. What are their strengths, Christian? A lot of strengths, a lot of similar strengths here. They're both, they're both really good at Oscar films, dramas, comic book movies, talking smack, dressing up. There's a lot of, I mean, this on paper, they look very similar. The, the question is, 
who's going to come out on top. We love writing these questions, but these two intros, I think, are going to be something to behold. A spectacle to witness for all time. Is your golden throat ready? I'm ready. My ears are too. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmoda. <laughs> Introducing first. Awesome show, good job. Yeah. They are super serious with that injury. They pulled the McWeenie, but they didn't even wait. They just pulled it, shot right out the gate, sat down. They're ready to play. Jim, still not looking me in the eye. We'll see what happens. <laughs> and their opponents. They are the 2000 and they also do right it. Here. Semi-finals with a record of three wins, two defeats. The number six ranked contenders, Gray. Matt, Team Rotten Tomato! They neuralized us! They did. Our memories have been erased. Luckily, the questions are here in the computer. Introducing their opponents. Oh, wait, they did it already? We already did that. Oh, I I'm forgot. confused. <laughs> I forgot. This neuralizer gag is going great. <laughs> All, right. All right, here we go. A team match. Three rounds. Rotten Tomatoes versus IGN. Mark, what is round number one like? What are the rules? IGN and Rotten Tomatoes. The field is going to hear eight questions from eight different movie categories. As soon as you hear the question, begin writing down your perceived answer on the whiteboard. When we ask you to reveal your answer, please verbalize it as you show your answer to our lovely cameras here. Each question is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round one. You get 15 seconds to answer. Also, there are two additional rules. The JTE rule, you will have three times throughout the match to ask for a repeat of the question. You can only do it three times. There's a challenge rule also. You can challenge once if you don't believe that a certain question goes your way and you want to challenge it, you can. We will confer with another judge. If we overrule it, you'll keep your challenge. If we don't, you will lose your challenge for the remainder of the game. Fun fact, that judge is a Muppet that lives right down here. Hello. Are Rotten Tomatoes ready? Yes. yes. Is Team IGN ready? We were yeah. born ready. Then let's get ready to Schmoodown! Here we go, Mark. Your first question comes from the world of animated movies. These are drawn. What? Game of Thrones star voices the dragon trapper Eric, who sells captured dragons to Drago in How to Train Your Dragon 2. A small part of me wanted it to be an alternative movie where Dolph Lundgren was in this film. Is it pronounced Drago? Probably not. Probably not. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Matt Atchity. I almost wrote Peter Dinklage and then I remembered it was Kit Harrington. That's correct for ah. one point. Jim. Uh, uh, Nikolai Coster Walda. Incorrect. Great. He knew that name, though. I put Sean Bean, <laughs> but the guy in the movie didn't die, so. <laughs> Incorrect. Uh, Eric. Not Sophie Turner. <laughs> All right, so technically only that is Jim. correct. Only Jim gets that one right. So Ron only Matt Atchity only gets that. Right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Excuse me. Only Matt Atchity gets that right. To Jim. <laughs> one nothing. Matt uh, gets the point there. Category of comedies. What meal was offered to the passengers in airplane that made everyone sick? What meal was it? What they eat? Did you emphasize airplane because there's an exclamation point in the title? Yes. Y you hit that note well, a little. Oh, I've been hard. reading. Airplane. My daughter has been teaching me how to read. <laughs> Five, four. Three, two, one, pens down. Jim. Fish. Correct for one point. Gray. Fish. Correct. Eric. Fish. Correct. And Matt. I'm sorry, with an exclamation point. Fish. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Three, two, and the crowd just left. Slap All right, here we me go. a piece of that cow. Your next category is dramas. <laughs> exactly. Tilapia is a garbage fish. Continue. <laughs> Our fans swimming upstream all of a sudden. In which film does Jake Gyllenhaal ride around Los Angeles in a Dodge Challenger? Your own Dodge Challenger? No, but I buy American. I have a Ford Fusion that I lease. Thinking about giving it up. <laughs> Five, four. Oh, I know what you're three, doing. Three. I get it. Two, Very one. Funny. Great. Nightcrawler? That is correct. Yeah, Eric. no confidence. Nightcrawler. Correct, Matt. Nightcrawler. Correct, and Jim. 
Nightcrawler. There you go. Whoa. All right. So 5-4 going into question number four here. Category of horror slash thriller. Ooh. Mary Elizabeth Winstead plays Arctic-bound paleontologist Kate Lloyd in what 2011 thriller? I yeah. like that, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. You do. You've been a big fan since yeah, the day that she eye. arrived. It's in the eyes. It's yeah? In, I, I, Your I, eyes I like, or hers? I like... <laughs> Five, I mean, my eyes are beautiful. Four, three, two, one, and pen sound, please. Eric. The Thing. The correct answer. Uh, Matt Ashley. The Thing. Correct. Jim. The Thing. And Gray. Cloverfield Lane on Ice. Oh, man. All right. So, tie game here now. 6-6 six, six, as we go into question number five, Mark. I would pay for a ticket to that. Your next category <laughs> is from the world of action-adventure movies. And your question is thus. In 2008's Wanted, what MCU star plays Barry, Wesley's friend and colleague that has a side relationship with Wesley's girlfriend? This is a fantastic question. Though. It's a, it, it, This movie is more fun than people give it credit for. A lot like me at parties. I was talking about the question itself. Ah. Five, see what you did there. four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Matt Atchity. Chris Pratt. Correct for one nice. point. Eric. I mean, not sorry, I'm sorry, Jim. Chris Pratt. Correct. Gray. Oh, I just put McAvoy. Incorrect. Eric. I'm glad Jim knew it because I put huh, which I was thinking. Oh, <laughs> all right. So this is seven, seven. Well, see, this is what I told you. It is a tie game. I here. told you it'd be a Very good game, close. too. All right. Take all, right. all the credit. Oh, I'm sorry. Next You're category. No Next Don't category. make me neuralize everybody over there. You guys behave. <laughs> I think we already got neuralized. We forgot how this game works. We don't want right. that comedy bit coming back. Category of family films. Tim Curry, I've heard of him, plays the devious Cardinal Richelieu. Hopefully said that right. In what 1993 Disney film? Tim Curry plays the devious Cardinal Richelieu. In what 1993 Disney film? I think he's English, but whatever country he's from, Tim Curry is a national treasure. Well, he's really he's good. He's a national treasure. He, he is. is amazing in everything. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Jim. Three Musketeers. Correct. Ooh. Gray. Just Adventures of Baron Munchausen, shout out. Incorrect. Uh, Eric? <laughs> Just thinking of the Muppets and put Muppet Treasure Island. Right. Why not? And nice. Matt? Three Musketeers. All right. So nice. Matt and, and Jim here battling it out. Uh, and we now have our final category. Oh, excuse me. Two I questions left. Crazy Ace in your next category <laughs> is in the world of fantasy sci-fi. In the movie Looper, who plays Sarah, the woman who lives on the farm with her son where young Joe takes refuge? I'm surprised there's not a band named Young Joe. Does that sound like a new hipster band? a band named The Looper. You're going to listen to what I said, huh? I heard you. You want a band named Young Joe. I want a band named Looper. I don't want the band. I just think it sounds like a young hipster band. Five, four, three, two. Little Joe, Fat Joe. One. Pens down, please. And Gray. Is that Emily Blunt? That is correct. Marry me. That is correct. All right, Eric. Oh. Eric. I said it sounds Diane Laney. Oh, incorrect. <laughs> All right. Matt. Matt. I said Emily smokes a blunt. That is correct. And Jim. Cocky. Emily Blunt. Correct. All right, so there you go. And right <laughs> now, Looper way it, more than it I is 10-9, and our final question in round number one is in the category of new releases. Texas Midland Banks are being targeted by robbers in what 2016 flick? Can we give Eric a point for It Sounds Diane Laney? That is a st I've never heard that. That's a good answer. That is funny. I liked it. I reward well, humor. I reward personality. I think that was very nice to see. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Eric. Texas Banks. Incorrect. <laughs> Matt. Matt. Hell or High Water World. Correct. <laughs> what was it? What did you say it was? Hell or high water. All right. Sorry, He's making around. him funny. Eric's not the only funny guy in the crew. <laughs> what almost cost points with you when we played. Jim. Hell or high water. Correct. Gray. Hell or high water. Wow, Gray gets See it. All right. Gray gets it. Okay. So we have 12 10 there. Rotten Tomatoes is now in the lead by two, going in around number two. Nice big Gray. round there. Eric slipping a little bit there towards the end of round one. Needs a big round two. Will he get a question involving his shirt? All right, because Matt Atchity got all eight right. He's he out of the game. No, he's not. <laughs> he, 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 will get, he will get a bonus question worth one point right now if he can go ahead and get this correct. Mark, give him his bonus question. All right, Mr. Atchity. He cannot confer with Gray. What 1986 movie begins with the narrated line, I was 12 going on 13 the first time I saw a dead human being? 
That would be Stand By Me. For one more point. One more point. <laughs> Matt Atchity, you're getting the bonus question there. As it Still perfect. Still perfect. perfect. Matt Atchity is perfect right now, crushing. Okay, here we go. Now we get into round number two. Mark, how does round two work? In round two, each team is going to have six questions from one of the categories on the wheel that you will spin. If you don't like the category you spin at first, you are awarded a mulligan. You may spin again. Whatever it lands on, you must keep that category. Each question is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can check to multiple choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one point. You are allowed to confer with your teammates for the duration of round two. However, there is stealing involved. There's no penalty for missing a question. All right, Rotten Tomatoes, you guys are in the lead. Would you like to go first or second? Ladies' choice. First. first. All right, give it a good spin, Gray. All right. There we go. Gray was four when she saw three dead bodies. Yes! There we go. That's like just that math. Spin. They're looking for nice maybe spin. 90s or 80s. They like decades here at Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Look out, 80s! Uh, and mixed, mixed bag. bag. Do you want to stay with mixed bag or do you want to go? Crowd screaming at Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Christian, I think Sounds people like spinning are again. spinning again. All right, we're spinning again. Spinning again. <laughs> Some sort of bludgeoning going on. We like, we like consistency what here you, at Rotten what Tomatoes. What do you think? Mixed bag? I... Spin that wheel! Wait, hold on. Atchity, uh, our Sick fearless about? leader, is saying Wait. that he, he's got, giving I'm me... I'm going to need an answer in five. What? We have a pizza on the way. Three. <laughs> two. Then we're spinning again. All right, here we go. There's the spin. <laughs> Was it a good Thanks, choice? Man. Did it work? <laughs> Did it work for the mixed bag they had? And now they're going to try to spin away okay. from mixed bag. We're putting all our mixed eggs in one basket. still folk. working. Christian, still they could have got mixed bag again. Not this time. <gasps> oh, opponent's oh, oh, choice. <laughs> it didn't work it out. Actually down. had the instinct. Right, um, but and they, now all the pressure yeah. falls on IGN. IGN, we need a decision from you as the which category Rotten Tomatoes gets six questions from. Biopics. Biopics. Oh, Bio oh, okay. Biopics. All right, I'll go. Even. Biopics. You will have six questions in the world of biopics. All right, Rotten Tomatoes, here we go. In the 2011 biopic Moneyball, which American League Central team did the Oakland A's play in their attempt to win 20 consecutive games? Uh, we'd like multiple choice, please. All right. Is it A, the Detroit Tigers, B, the Cleveland Indians, C, the Chicago White Sox, or D, the Kansas City Royals? Five, four, three, two. White Sox. That's incorrect. Jim and Eric? Uh, we're going to go with the Royals. Well, that's correct for one Ooh, point. One point. So IGN Congrats. stealing back one of their points. Tough question. Yeah, all right. Okay, question two, Rotten Tomatoes. Who played the role of Altea Flint in The People versus Larry Flint? Courtney Love. Correct for two points. Yes. Rotten Tomatoes now. I stand by you, Courtney. Alpha was the dog. All right, question <laughs> well, three. Well, who played the dog? <laughs> Sparky. <laughs> Liam Neeson played this Irish patriot in Neil Jordan's 1996 film. Rob Roy, my favorite drink. Incorrect. Michael Collins. Correct for two oh! points. Damn you, Liam Neeson, with all <laughs> your biopics. He played too many Irish Patriots, yeah. and it tripped him up there. Rob Roy is Scottish. Scottish. Neil Jordan. <laughs> all right, question four, Rotten Tomatoes. Who plays Della B. Robinson in Ray? Five. Four. Three. Okay, we need multiple choice to be certain. A, Viola Davis. B, Kerry Washington. C, Regina King. D, Taraj B. Henson. I believe that is B, Kerry Washington. That is correct for one point. <gasps> Rotten Tomatoes still putting up a little fight. Got two questions left here, guys. Who plays Frida Kahlo's husband, Diego Rivera, in the movie Frida? Uh, also played Dr. Octopus. That would be Alfred Molina. And that's correct Alfred for two Molina. points. <laughs> All right, so now they're playing pretty good here Five in your last Five point question. game when they had opponent's choice yep. stuck on them. Not bad so far. Your last question. Okay. Which outlet of print media oh. did Stephen Glass work for in the 2003 biographical drama Shattered Glass? We'll take multiple choice, please. 
A, Time Magazine. B, The New York Daily News. C, The New Republic. D, The Washington Post. Uh, Time Magazine, A. Incorrect. <sighs> New Republic? Correct for one Damn. point. Right. IGN oh. stole a, like four yeah. points there. Four really points good. there. So, all right, IGN, you guys are up here. Only four points down as you get into your spin. Go ahead and spin, Jim. Give it a good spin, please. There's your first spin. Here it is. That is. I want the trip down to spin. <laughs> How you spin a wheel. And here they come, round and round. Coming of age movies. Do you want to keep it or spin? Spin again. I, I think we'll yeah, keep let's, we'll, we'll keep it. We're going to keep it. All right, the keeping coming, coming of, of age, age movies. movies. All right, Mark, go ahead. All Six right. questions here in the world of coming of age. Coming of age. Can IGN, who currently has a 1-0 record, come of age in this game? We're about no. to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Your first question. I, I can fix this. I can fix that joke. Coming of age movies. God, I wish I had that next week at the comedy store. Coming of age movies, what word of advice is whispered to Dustin Hoffman in 1967's The Graduate? Uh, can we get multiple choice? You certainly may. Is it A, plastics, B, sugar free, C, computers, or D, exercise? A, plastics. For one, one point. point for IGN. All right, they played a little safe there. So, one point. All we'll right, All right. proud, not yeah. enthused. No. <laughs> Your next question. Who plays teenage Rolling Stone reporter William Miller in Almost Famous? Patrick Fugit. Two points for IGN. IGN's starting to fight back here. The gets, crowd yep. is waking up. <laughs> Your next query. Jeff Daniels and Laura Linney play a couple separating in what 2005 dramedy? It's a... Squid in the Well. It certainly is. Two, Two more, more points. points. They take, they take the, lead. the lead now. It really looked that opponent's <laughs> choice. Blocked you. Big move here. <laughs> All, All right. right. Two, two questions left. Well, three questions left. Three questions left. Your next one is James Ponsel directed Miles Teller in which film? Uh, can we get. Uh, we think we know the answer, but we'll take multiple choice. <laughs> I, I don't need to know the inner workings of your mind, Jim. <laughs> you don't want to know. Is it A, 21 and over, B, Project X, C, The Spectacular Now, or D, That Awkward Moment? Spectacular Now. One point, One point. for IGN. IGN having a great round right now. It is 20 to 18. Left. A chance to go four points over if they can get these next two. Who played the character of Chris Chambers in the film Stand By Me? What is that? River Phoenix. Two more points Two more for points. IGN. Right. They have opened up a four point gash with one question left. Final question here. What is Ferris Bueller's key to faking out parents? Sweaty palms. I'll take that. Take, that's the same thing. You want to take it? I think we should. I think we should have a judge for the judge. Yeah, I think we should have a judge yeah. confirm. All right, that is that is it. That is incorrect. Uh, bend over, moan, and lick your palms, and then come up. For clammy licking, hands. Clammy, oh. licking palms, clammy hands. That's your final answer? That's my final answer. That is correct. Clammy yeah. hands for two yeah. points. It took a while to get there, but we got we it. Got there. <laughs> Clammy, hands. Clammy hands is correct. And that so, made it a much closer game going yeah, into round three. They just missed it there. Sweaty palms, not the same as clammy hands, apparently, to Mark Riley, who knows well. All right, so let's <laughs> now get to round number three. What a match, as we predicted here, Mark. 22-20. IGN is in the lead. How does round three work? In round three, each round team three. is going to pick three numbers that range from 1 to 25. Those numbers correspond to a movie category we have up here at the desk. The questions increase in value from 2 to 3 to 5. Because this is a team match, once you hear the category of your first question, the teams must choose which competitor is going to answer it. There is no conferring with your teammate on point two and point three questions. However, if we get to point five questions, you are allowed to confer with your team member. All right, so IGN, you guys have a two point lead. Please pick three numbers between one and 25. C. 
Seven, 17, 25. Seven, 17, and 25. Rotten Tomatoes. Go ahead. 36, 24, 36. Oh, wait. Ah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I like the play there. Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, lucky 13, uh, 7, and Yo 11. 7 has been chosen already. Oh. So, well, so forget thir- that. Then. 13, <laughs> 13, 11, and 4. 4. 13, 11, and 4. Rotten Tomatoes. I will ask the question here to Rotten Tomatoes as we are now. The first one is 13. 13 is their first choice, and you chose scores and soundtracks for the two-pointer. Who would like to take the two-pointer from the two of you guys? Matt Atchity taking the two-pointer. All right, Matt, two-pointer, you cannot confer with your teammate here. Which movie soundtrack features a tune by its own fictional band, the Soggy Bottom Boys? Uh, that would be Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? And that would be two points tying the game here. Tying the game. Uh, all right, now we go to IGN, Mark, with the category of number seven. IGN, you chose number seven for your two-pointer. That category is classics. Who would like? I'll go. Jim Vavida. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Because duh, classics. Right. <laughs> your question is thus. For two points, who played swashbuckler Captain Blood in the 1935 film Captain Blood? Errol Flynn. Two points. Two points. Oh, All right, two points. IGN Vince. takes the lead them. back, Very and nice. now we go to Rotten Tomatoes, who chose number 11 for their three-pointer. And this will go to Gray Drake in the category of action adventure. Action adventure, Gray. Who plays Dalton's trusted ally, Wade Garrett, in the classic Roadhouse? Uh, that would be Sam Elliott. That is correct. Yes! There you go. Three points. I love it. So now we go back to IGN, who needs to hit their three-pointer. Eric needs to hit the three-pointer, which is category 17. Your number 17 category is Pixar. Your question for three points. In Toy Story 3, what is the name of the child that Andy gives his toys to? Five. Four, three, two, one. I'm going to say Rosie, even though I know that's not quite right. Mm, looking for Bonnie. Bonnie. Oh, Bonnie. Oh, all right, so. E. Uh, <laughs> right. All right, so now we are down to the five-pointer here. IGN needs to hit this five-pointer, or Rotten Tomatoes will win the game. The five-pointer mark they chose, category number 25. Angelina Jolie is back, ladies and gentlemen. God bless her. Angelina Jolie is your category, and you are allowed to confer with your partner on this. Yes. Your five-point question is, who played Dade Murphy, a.k.a. Crash Override, alongside Angelina in the 1995 film Hackers? Hackers. They're holding hands over there. Here we go. Johnny Lee Miller. I'm in the mainframe, Christian. I'm almost there. That is correct. That's correct for five points. So look at this. Right back to it. So Rotten Tomatoes has a chance to win by one point if they can hit their five-pointer, which is the category number four, and that would be category number four, which would be family films. Family films for Matt Ashley and Great Drake in order to win the game and beat IGN your five-pointer. Who played Professor Brody, who was conducting research to cure dog allergies in cats and dogs? <laughs> you know this. I, think, sure. I, think it might, I think it might be Jeff Goldblum. And your winner, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes! Great Ray and Matt Atchity! If I'm not mistaken, Great Great answered Jeff Goldblum for another it's question in round one. Oh, he comes back to support. Wow. Cats and what? dogs. Cats oh, and dogs. Cats oh, and dogs. The Victory only time you'll ever hear a cats and dogs chant anywhere in the United wow. States. Wow. What a match. 30 to 29. One point difference. Oh, man. And IGN shocked here playing a hell of a game. <laughs> Came down to that stinking Bonnie from Toy Story. All right, here we go. We're going to talk to Jen Sturger, who's got Rotten Tomatoes and IGN. And what a hell of a match that was.
What's up, movie trivia schmodown fans? I'm Jen Sturger, and I'm here with Matt and Gray. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. That God. was amazing. Oh, my God. Jeff Goldblum has bought me so many things in my life. That was by far <laughs> the best one. This was truly a team effort. Gray Steven pulled that Spielberg last feels question the same out. way, by the way. It was so, so good. I heard that Cats and Dogs. I was like, oh, no. And Gray nailed it. You guys, I literally just watched it on cable and was like, what is this stupid movie? And why is Jeff Goldblum in it? What? <laughs> He's asking I'm himself the same power. thing. <laughs> oh my god. So you guys beat what the flick. That was an amazing match against IGN. Who are you guys looking to go up against next? Heroes more like zeros. Ooh. Oh, who's cocky now? I've got my flip off here. glasses on. Oh God. Is Jim Goldblum could... around? I want to kiss him on the mouth. Is that a... so I don't do think I. you need to be here I do too. This I do too. I mean look, like Jeff Goldblum, he's a beautiful man. He's sexy as hell. Uh, I would rent an apartment with him. And now Absolutely. he just won us a match. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you know, we know that there's a championship match coming up, and we are going to take on the winner, and we will be the champions. Uh, what about a Jeff Goldblum category? I oh. dare anybody to go up against me. So, Matt, a <laughs> lot of rumors that you might be doing a singles match soon. When are you, why are you holding out on us? Uh, He's a tease. Good to know. That that could be the case. Uh, <laughs> I am, you know, I'm I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Oh wait, I think I'm ready. You're ready. So you're ready uh, to try a singles match. I think match. I'm ready to try a singles match. Oh, anyone yeah. in particular just, you try to call out? I just checked my watch. It's quit messing around a clock. I, I want to take on Riley. Look, like I, you know, oh. I may have to go through a few people. I want to take on Riley. I want to see how far I can go. Right, Ooh. Gray. I'm sweating too. Oh my god, I got the vapors. <laughs> well, congratulations, guys. Phenomenal match today. Oh. We'll see you again soon. G Quick shout, though, to IGN, a.k.a. I Go Nowhere. They, they went straight into our hearts, though. <laughs> Those guys are some serious competitors. That they know their amazing. stuff. That was an amazing uh, match. Yeah. I, I, but we still want Jeff Goldblum! <laughs> Goldman, Veda, we love you guys, but suck it! <laughs> yep. I'm done here. <laughs> guys, I'm here with IGN. That was a hell of a match. What was going through your head that second round? Who the hell was the kid in Toy Story 3 was the first one, I think. Um, look, it was a great match. Mad respect for those guys. Um, you know, we used to work right, literally right next to them. Uh, so I knew that they were going to be a tougher competitor than Nerdist. I will say, I thought we had him right at the end. God damn you, Jeff Goldblum. I thought you had him in the second round the way you guys uh -huh. came back yeah. and with the steals. It was amazing. Yeah, things were looking good in the second round. I was feeling like, okay, we, we, we kind of found, because I, I know he, I was the weak link in this one. He was holding us up. And in the second oh. round, I'm like, okay, no, things are going better. We're, you know, we, we started th taking the lead. And I felt even in the third round, I'm like, oh, there's some back and forth here. I think that we're going to do okay. But then, yeah, the, the Toy Story 3 cats and dogs one-two punch uh, yeah. that took us out. <laughs> yeah, it was those cartoons that stole you at the end. So. Great match, though. What's next for you guys? Maybe are we looking at singles matches? You want to compete some more as a team? I wouldn't mind going into the singles matches okay. at this point. I feel like uh, uh, I, I love that Achity and I were just basically right neck and neck there with each other uh, until the end. Uh, but uh, I would love to. I, I'd love to try the the singles match. But I also think Team IGN. We still get a lot of fight in this. This is only our second one. We lost by one point. Oh now, yeah. Now, gr granted. Second place is first loser, but we could totally still kick ass. Yeah, but between your impressive debut and that match, I think you yeah, guys have more than enough proved yourselves here. As someone who loves good drama, I, even I have to appreciate losing by one point, you know? Because <laughs> it was, yeah, the fact that it would come that close. And yeah, I, I would love to both come back uh, as a team again. I think we've had a great time and the singles. This guy, though, I think is like the unbeatable one when it comes to biopics and classic movies. Yeah, no one saw that coming. Yeah, yeah, no. It's like, uh, well, I've worked with him long enough to know that <laughs> he, he could do it. So uh, I think he could just kick some ass on that level but for sure you guys put on a hell of a match and you know today we'll go down as the curse of jeff goldblum so i thought i loved jeff again. goldblum i thought i loved him i love him that little bit less now yeah. just a little bit less Back he's still awesome you guys all right obviously you see a very elated rotten tomatoes who goes up four and two they're calling for the patriots they're calling for us they're calling for everybody they want those title shots who's who knows what's going to happen with them and then ign obviously upset because how do you how do you i mean you 29 points. And, and such zaniness occurring during all three rounds of this match. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. 
a great man once said, and I couldn't have asked for a more entertaining match right. than what we got from these four journalists. Well, Great Drake didn't even uh, didn't even listen to whether or not she was right or not. She just, she knew it so well. She just started hugging Matt right away. She is so cocky. Her hair is pinkish red, I believe. Um, what a match! Oh my God, that was something, guys. For you guys, make sure you like and comment. That helps us get more matches like this. More big sites like IGN and Rotten Tomatoes going head to head. It's not the last time we're going to see IGN. I'll uh -huh. tell you right now. Um, oh my God. That was an awesome match. I can't believe it. Make sure you go to the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook group. Join over there. Join the subreddit over at Reddit. And make sure you check out the Schmodown Rundown. Every Saturday, brand new episode recapping the week that was in Schmodown. That is the commish, Christian George Harloff. I am merely Mark Ellison. Now we toss it to the wild man, Josh McCuga, with your fantasy update. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Josh McCuga here with your fantasy update. It was a hard-fought heavyweight fight between IGN and Rotten Tomatoes. Points scored everywhere. Train harder! Train harder! Catch the chicken! If you have either one of those teams, hold on to them for dear life. They score fantasy points like I dated girls in the late 90s. It was a lot of them, and my fiance is not happy about it. If you don't have any of those teams, trade for him, find him out. Matt Atchity, he should compete in the singles. Either one of those IGN people, they need to compete in the singles. They score points, they know movies, they are the Leonard Malton of the Schmodown right now. I said keep training! God damn it, hit it! I'm Josh McCougar, that's your fantasy update! Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.